Hi guys, it's Caitlin. And Arai. We're here with the puppies. You can see Arai and Teddy are back there. We're on our way to Columbus, Ohio for yet another uh, U.S. men's national soccer team um, match against El Salvador uh, at Lower Com Field. So we're really excited for that. Uh, it is currently 7 degrees outside, uh, according to the car. So it is very, very chilly. Last night we got into the negative temperatures. Um, so we're currently at... Uh, 58 miles of guesstimated range, which I believe is in the 30s in terms of the uh, percentage of the car. Yep, so we're at exactly at 30% um, with about 58 miles of range. We just arrived at the Electrify America station in West Milwaukee. Uh, it's 6.40 p.m. We were planning on leaving this morning. Unfortunately, Caitlin got called into jury duty, so she's been a little busy, so we had to leave a lot later than expected today. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to get the car plugged in, and uh, we'll, we'll document our journey um, in these very freezing temperatures. So we're just kicking off charging here. You can see the contact just clicked on the car. We got the Electrify America station showing our ID4 charging plan. Just wanted to show what temperature, uh, what charging speeds we're getting here at uh, seven degree temperatures uh, with a 30% state of charge. So we'll see that charge speed ramp up here. So we're getting an acceptable 55 kilowatts. So we'll kind of, you know, stick around here um, at least until we um, have enough you know estimated range to get over to our next destination uh caitlin's already kicking off the crochet and go check out her etsy shop in the description if you haven't already uh, we'll take a look at the inside of the car here um so it's telling us if we want to get 80 percent it'll take about uh, it actually doesn't say about 40 minutes uh, if i do my math right there um where it gives the end time is 723 136 miles per hour we'll get um, so I think to our next stop, I'll just show you kind of again how we plan it. So this is with the plug share um, planning that we um, that I showed you guys earlier. So just showing uh, plug share. Um, if we go into the Android Auto apps here, this will be a continuation of our trip um, that we created earlier. So we'll go into trips in the Android Auto app. We'll hit the trip to Columbus. And then you can see, obviously, we're at the Walmart um, first, which is why it's at zero miles. Uh, then we need 85 and a half miles to uh, the Target, which is uh, on that south end of Chicago, uh, Chicagoland area in Hodgkins, Illinois. So actually, it's 100 miles of driving. So we're going to need to sit here and at least get probably, I'm going to put at least 130, 140 miles on here just to have a little bit of a buffer because I haven't driven it this long a distance in such cold uh, temperatures yet. So just to be, be sure. Um, otherwise, worst case scenario in an emergency, there's plenty of Electrify Americas on the way. Um, so we'll kind of see how this goes and then we'll kind of gauge the rest of the trip. I think it will get progressively warmer due to the battery of driving, but also the actual ambient temperature um, in Columbus is probably a bit like about 10 degrees cooler maybe than um, over here. So 10 degrees warmer. Did I say cooler? Yeah, warmer, warmer. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll get up there. We'll see how long it takes uh, with the you know, albeit slower charging speeds, and we'll go from there. All right, so we're just finishing up right now at the West Milwaukee Electri America station. Uh, it's currently 7:16. Arai is unplugging the car because I am very cozy right now. And so the plan is to stop at our favorite quick trip on the way because that's our road trip necessity. And uh, rise back now. I was telling yes. you how we're going to quick trip. Indeed we are. And I'm gonna get some coffee because it's been a long day, even though it's 7.20 at night. Yep. Got a lot of driving, but puppies are doing good. Just hanging out. Riley started barking at the uh, Mini Cooper that pulled up next to us. So that was kind of silly, but anyway, yeah, we're ready to get rolling. It's been a very long day for both of us and we know it's going to be a long drive. We're just ready to go to our Airbnb and sleep and see our friends tomorrow. So we will catch you at the next stop. Rock and roll. Hello. Arai has informed me that I forgot to give some vital information here. Um, so, let me flip you around. We did charge to 70%, as you can see. And then over here, we have 154 miles of buffer. Or of range. range. So actually, Excuse what's interesting uh, that I just noticed, um, when I had the car plugged in, the ignition off, it was showing about 135 miles of range. And as oh, soon as I flipped it right. on, it went up. So I thought we were only gonna have like a 25 to 30 mile buffer at 70%, but turns out that it wants to give us a little bit more so that's actually a really good sign that'll probably go down significantly so 100 miles to the next 
charging station exactly, about 100 miles, and then we have 154 miles of range. We'll see how much we, we actually end up with. So we've just arrived here at the Electrify America charging station in Hodgkins. This is the first time we're actually at this location. It's very interesting. It only has three fast chargers and then a level two, which says unavailable on it. Um, I think they just redid these stations because I think these stations used to be really old based on what I saw in PlugShare. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just back in real quick here and uh, we can, we should be having a warm battery here. Uh, we did arrive with only 3% state of charge. So I'm really glad we charged all the way to the 70 even. Um, so that was really good. So I'll just kind of show you what our stats were for that, that length here. So we go into vehicle, come on, lag, lag, lag. Uh, we go into our data, we can go to since charge. It's actually pretty good uh, for wind, for, for how bitterly cold it's been. Uh, average 61 miles an hour. Uh, two miles a kilo uh, per kilowatt hour. Uh, it's not a kilowatt kilowatt hour um, And yeah, that's not not terrible for 100 miles there. There's Caitlin's phones uh, Detecting that it's being charged. But yeah, if you take a look over on my side here, I'll take the camera 3% with five miles of range. So obviously that you know, quote-unquote 50 mile buffer was not a 50 mile buffer So we'll go ahead and get plugged in here um, We'll see how many miles it is till Lafayette. Well, actually, you know, let's take a look now. Let's go back into our Android Auto We've left by yet. We're gonna. It's gonna be our next stop. So if we go to plug share, gotta scroll alphabetically here. There we go. So it looks like about 108 miles. But let's see what actually Google Maps says so that we know. Um, and we'll charge up to. So 126. We'll probably charge up to. Honestly, it wouldn't be the worst thing to probably charge up to 70 or 80 again, um, just to make sure we can make it. I'll probably do 80 just to be safe. Um, but yeah, we'll see how fast we're charging here and that'll probably you know make me, uh, give, give me my decision. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned. Okay, so we've hit 82% um, charging. I'm actually gonna charge this up to 90 just to make sure uh, that we make it to Lafayette okay. Um, we are at 143 miles of guesstimated range at approximately 80% state of charge. Uh, we've been charging for about 45 minutes according to the Electrify America app. So it took us about 45 minutes to go from 3% to 80% um, in this really cold weather. It's still 10 degrees out here, about 10 o'clock at night. Um, Caitlin is sleeping, hence why I'm talking a little quieter here. You see Teddy in the background. I think Riley is also sleeping. Um, so we're here in this Target parking lot still in Hodgkins, Illinois. Uh, we're, we'll be ready to go in about five minutes here, um, probably, and then we'll have a little bit of a buffer. Um, so we'll probably have about 150 miles of range, which is not great considering it's at 90%. Um, but that is, uh, it'll just give us a little bit extra just to make sure we don't get stranded in the middle of Indiana somewhere. So uh, it'll make us, it'll get us to Lafayette at least, and then we should be good to go from there. I do just also want to note um, that my typical driving range in about 80% uh, state of charge, I usually get over 200 miles. So to be at only like 140, 145 miles, 80% just shows us how much the winter weather does affect the car. All right, so we just hit 90% state of charge here. Uh, guesstimated range is showing us about 156 miles. Uh, the charging is just wrapping up here. Contacts just heard them click. Uh, we've been here for just about an hour um, to charge from three to 90. So just so you know, uh, so Electrify America apps seem good to go. So I'm gonna get out in just a second and um, get us unplugged and on the way. Uh, I don't know why the app says 89 when it says 90 here. It's probably a different way in how they measure it. Uh, but 55 minutes of charging to go from 3 to 80. So um, obviously super great since it's free with the Volkswagen charging plan. Zero dollar cost to me. Um, so yeah, we'll get unplugged here. We'll have plenty of a buffer. Um, but it's about 30 mile buffer to get to Lafayette. We'll see how much, uh, if the range goes down or if it's caught up to kind of our driving habits. And I don't know how much I should plan for the next stop as well. We've arrived in Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, we actually, it's a good thing we charged to 90 instead of 80 because we arrived with 7% state of charge. Probably could have made it if I slowed down near the end there if we charged to 80, but it's always good to, uh, how do I say? Uh, good to be, uh, it's, it's late. Preventative, cautious, one of those words. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and charge here. Strangely enough, there is just a BMW i3 um, chilling over here. It's not plugged in. It seems to have some type of note on it. So I <laughs> really am curious what that's all about. If they're having some type of issue with their car and they had to leave it. Um, but it's blocking a stall and there are only four chargers here. So 
theoretically you could probably reach a cable and I, I don't know, just super weird. Um, can't, can't really explain that one. I'm gonna have to look and take a peek. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, get plugged in here. Let our dogs run. Oh, Riley, what are you barking at? There's nobody here. <laughs> Well, she is, uh, she's pissed at something. I don't know. Her hair's going up. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and charge here. It's oh, about, uh, a woman. it's about, oh, there's a, there's a person over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Uh, it's about one o'clock in the morning here. We jumped, you know, ahead. Um, a balmy 15 degrees. It's pretty warm. We're coming from like, you know, lower single digits in Milwaukee. So it's like a heat wave. I could probably go out here without my coat um, and probably still have a good time. So anyway, we're gonna get charged up and we'll uh, get back with you for, with how long we're here and uh, how many miles we need to get to Huber Heights. All right, so we are at uh, about 90% state of charge, running at about 153 miles on the gasometer, which is just awful. And it's no surprise considering we're at such a low temperature. Um, at 90% state of charge uh, in the summer, or in September at least when I got the car, we were cruising at like 240, 250 miles even, at, you know, possibly at 90. Uh, so, you know, this cold weather is really just you know, gonna kind of screw us over here. So it's gonna take, uh, so it's 172 miles to the next charger I wanted to stop at in Huber Heights, Ohio, when I was planning with you guys earlier. Now, the one misleading thing about plug share is that it shows like the distance should have been eight, should have been fine. Like it should have been like 150 miles or so, which in which in which case we'd make it. But then you know you put it into Google Maps, and Google Maps is showing that the driving distance is actually further. So that's that was kind of a, a fault of. Uh, Partially plug share, partially me. Um, I mean, it is the most logical route and just taking a while, but um, we're gonna try it at least. We're gonna kind of reevaluate when we get to Indianapolis. Hopefully, uh, if, I, if I go at maybe a little bit lower speed than I was going, um, we might be able to stretch our mileage because right now, um, you know, I use a little proportion calculator. Uh, when, once we get to 100, we are now a 91% state of charge. Once we get to 100, that should give us just about 170 miles of range based on what the Volkswagen is telling us right now. Plus, there is a little bit of a buffer at the end of the battery that's not, you know, great to use but we are charging to 100 because we will need it um like i said in the summer or when it's a reasonable temperature out this probably wouldn't have been a problem we would have been able to make this fine but this is one of those things we just need to adapt to uh for the winter so once we're done charging here i'll let you know what the gasometer says and this will be a nice test to see um how many uh, what we actually end up having to do uh, instead of stopping at the electrify america in indianapolis in worst case scenario we're gonna stop there's a bp gas station that's a free green lot station that's a little more on my on our route um so i'll just show you that real quick here because i had it up on android auto uh, so we're right here in lafayette right now um so if i zoom in over on indianapolis you can see that um the electrify america station is located somewhere on the south uh um, bypass or, or whatever in Indianapolis calls that um, in part of the interstate um, but we would normally have gone through here and then headed east towards uh, Huber Heights Ohio but instead there's a BP gas station a little ways off the highway here that we can stop at that's probably gonna be a little bit less in terms of um, the out of the way and it's a 50 kilowatt but if we just need a quick top off because we're worried about missing Huber Heights by a couple miles we can do that grab some water or uh, snacks or whatever we need to do um, but we just don't want to go 20 minutes out of the way so not ordinary to have to charge to 100 at a charging station you probably shouldn't do that um, if you don't have to but again it's middle of the night we're kind of trying to just <laughs> you know get there most efficiently as possible and if it means staying here for an extra 20 minutes or so to go to make that gap from 80 to 100 charging speed's been great um, because we had the warm battery we were getting about 110 115 kilowatts which is pretty good considering the max is 125 um, on here concerning the cold weather we've been driving it a lot like I said we've driven definitely like probably 200 250 miles already so um, the battery is warm it's you know we're sitting in here you know the heat is on and the chargers supplying us our energy for the heating system um, but yeah so we'll we'll see how it goes uh, we'll do a quick little update here because I think we are charging a little bit more it's now showing 157 miles of range at 93 percent so yeah really cutting it close but I think the gasometer has probably caught up with our with my typical driving habits so if I just you know maybe drop my um, speed a few miles per hour we, we probably will be able to stretch it to make it to Huber Heights I think it's a good test um, in worst case scenario if we find ourselves on the uh, interstate uh, past Indianapolis and we 
uh, think we were supposed to make it, but we can't, um, there are a few slow charges available. It seems like at some dealerships and other businesses in the area um, through the ChargePoint network. So we will use those if we have to, but stay tuned, this will be interesting. We should be wrapping up our charging any second here. We're at 99% state of charge. It says five minutes left, but it's been sitting like that for a little bit. So we should be hitting this 100% mark. Uh, right now we're showing 167 miles of guesstimated range. So we are just shy of what we need to be at um, to potentially safely make it. Normally I even like to leave a buffer. And like I said, 100%, this car is advertised at 250 miles. And I found that to be pretty true in my testing when we have normal, not freezing cold weather like this. Um, again, Frosty weather, completely different than this Arctic cold that we get. Um, so here we are at 100% and still at 167 miles. Um, we're probably just on that really high end of, oh, dropped to 166, uh, really high end of the uh, 99 percentile of the battery. Um, so we sat here, we're seeing good to go on the Electrify America app. Sat here for about an hour and eight minutes uh, to charge from 70 to 99 or 100%. I don't know why, again, Electrify America shows 1% less than what you actually charge it to. Um, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and this will be a good test, like I said. So we'll we'll see if uh, we're actually if we see if we're on uh, on line, on par to make it once we hit um, the Indianapolis area, and if not, we'll stop at uh, that Green Lot station and give that one a try. Um, so we've got some backup options. We'll just kind of play it as uh, play it as we go and go from there. All right, a little quick update. We just went through downtown Indianapolis. Uh, we currently have 112 miles till our destination. The car is guesstimating uh, 111 miles uh, that we have of remaining range. Uh, I will look at our battery state of charge in just a second here. But ultimately, just to be safe, I think we should stop. And uh, there's a green lots charger not far off the highway here. So uh, we're looking at since uh, we started the trip, still a solid two miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, since we last charged 2.2, probably due to these construction zones. Like right now I'm going about 45 miles an hour on the highway, which is probably why this range is really close um, because uh, this construction is kind of crazy. So now it looks like it's about to go up a little bit. So we have our uh, stop that we're gonna make. It's right off the highway, just ahead of us a little bit here. It's about three miles away. We'll open that up in Google Maps. And that'll go up to Android Auto. Looks like, yeah, we're five miles from there, so we'll, uh, charge, probably get some something to drink and a little snack and uh, we'll be right back on the road set to Huber Heights and then we'll try to avoid that last charger stop in Columbus. I don't think we should need to do that uh, if we stop at Huber Heights. So should be good. All right, so we are at this uh, very quiet BP station now. We're in it's actually, Indianapolis, uh, technically. What is it called? It's uh, a get and go? Get, get go. go? Yeah. Puppies are in the car still. So. Um, Anyway, charger. Yeah, so we've got a, both a Chatamo and a, a CCS, so if we hit the CCS here. Charging will start automatically if the coupler is properly connected. Oh my god, I've never had a charging station talk to me before. That's fun. <laughs> that kind of scared me a little bit. So we'll go ahead and plug her in here and we'll run inside and maybe grab some, uh, some snacks or something. Boom. Charging session has just started. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> that's very interesting. A charging station uh, has never talked to me before. Has the charging station talked to you before, Kiko? <laughs> no. Okay, so we're getting 0.1 kilowatt hour. Oh, that's how much is actually transmitted. So does it show what well, we currently have? It just shows voltage and current, so it doesn't show the kilowatt. I'm sure you can calculate it based off of that. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, yeah, so we'll, we're at 61%. I believe it was guesstimating 108 miles when we were in the car. So we'll go ahead and run in and we'll, we'll stay out here until we, we, we had, uh, we were about three miles away from being able to get to the destination, but since we're gonna be tra traveling faster once we get out of the metro area here, um, we'll see how that goes. Welcome back. I am now a passenger. Caitlin's gonna be driving the ID for us. First time she's driving it one of these videos. It is currently 3.30 Eastern time. So 2.30 from the time zone which we left in. Uh, she's getting her seat adjusted and everything. So she's gonna be doing the driving. Uh, so I'll be providing some nice commentary uh, along the way. Caitlin's a good driver, so I trust her with the car. Um, so we are uh, <laughs> 11, 111 miles away from the Huber Heights, Ohio Electrify America. Uh, currently saying 118 miles of uh, guesstimated range left. So we're gonna go ahead um, and we'll, we'll charge up a little bit more here. Uh, we just ran in to grab, uh, grab some water and 
Uh, I got a little snack, and so yeah, we're, we have about eight miles of buffer. We're just we're pretty much ready to go whenever. Uh, I think we'll make it, no problem. Uh, we should be good. I'm getting tired, guys. I'm telling you, <laughs> <laughs> the puppies are awake again because we're starting to move. But I think Caitlin's looking forward to starting the car, uh, driving the car because she hasn't dri really driven it before. Uh, Caitlin, are you selfishly offering to drive, or did you um, actually <laughs> want to give mean, me a break? I would love to continue to crochet. But uh, I've been driving a lot. Also, how do I uh, adjust the mirrors? <laughs> Maybe you have to twist the little knob. I, I do, it's on the L. It's not moving. Oh, the ignition's probably not on. You have to hit the... Boom. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, some of the features ah, are turned off, even though some of the things start to react. It didn't save my So press, press and hold your, press and hold the two again and see, maybe the mirrors just weren't adjusting. Maybe only your seat was. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. So there's a little quirk there. So if you press and hold the seating adjustment, um, it adjusts your seat if the ignition's not on, but it doesn't adjust the mirrors until the ignition is on. So very weird. So you have to press it again once you turn the ignition on. So anyway, I'll charge up here for just a couple more minutes till we get maybe like a 20 mile buffer, I would say at this point, then we should be good to go. Our new pilot thinks it's time <laughs> to go. Uh, so we're at 129 miles, <laughs> a guesstimated range. Uh, we're going to let the pilot take charge here. This is a uh, real person, non-techie, non-IT person driving hey, an EV. No, I I'm listen, not, I I'm listen not criticizing. to techie podcasts. I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying that like, this is somebody who is an EV enthusiast who's interested in EVs and doesn't have one yet, hasn't had the experience driving one. So this is going to be interesting. So I'm, I've driven it before. Yeah, well, yes, but not like on a road trip. Like you've driven it 10 minutes home before. <laughs> That's the, the only time really. Yeah. Not that I won't let her, but it's also, I've been protective of my accident and stuff like that. So whatever. Anyway, time to go. I'm going to unplug us here. So I'm going to get out of the car. Let's see if it talks to us again. That'll be interesting. So we'll go back up to the charging station here. Let's hit stop. So we're at 74 Charging complete. Charge. Yep, it did yell at us, the charging complete. So we'll go ahead and unplug our CCS here, put our cap back on. We'll put it back in the holster. Great, this is free and you don't even need to do it through the app. Um, so we'll put it back in the holster, confirm the message, and then Please close put the, door. the coupler back and close the door. Oh, so we close Thank the door. Thank you. Drive safely. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Charging Station, sir. Uh, ma'am, sir, ma'am, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna get back in the car here. Did it say thank you? It did. It said <laughs> it's. It told us to please drive safely. Oh. So. Uh, I know, right? I've never had a charging station talk to me. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Um, that there's a first for everything, I guess. Uh, very user friendly, though. Honestly, I mean, it's great to have something telling you what to do because people are not good readers, and I can say that being in IT, just people are very bad at reading. Uh, anyway, we're gonna get going here. I did close the charging cap. Good me uh, this time. Um, and then yeah, so Caitlin's gonna be running this off, uh, running navigation off my phone here because um, I have all the belts planned in. Good cool. to go. Awesome. We'll see you guys. So we'll, we're on our way to Huber Heights, Ohio. So I have just pulled up to the Electrify America station at the Walmart at Huebner Heights. Um, puppies are doing good still. They're just sleeping. Arise sleeping. So I'm going to get everything situated. Uh, we ended here at 4% battery with 7 miles left on the gasometer. Um, it was getting pretty close there for a while so I kind of went down to closer to 70 miles per hour versus the usual 73 that I've been going. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to get it set up through here because I don't have the app on my phone. So let's see if we can figure this out on our own, right? All the fun stuff. Um, so I'm going to go to the Electrify America app. We can see it's right here. So I think it lets me click it. Maybe not. JK, let's click nearby. Haha, <laughs> there it is. And click there. Maybe. No. Okay, there we go. Oh, I don't know what number we have. <laughs> Someone woke oh, up and is laughing at me. Okay, uh, wait. I need to see the number. Just wait. Stay there. What is the number? We are. 
three. Okay, back in we go because it's cold. Charger and we are charger. Ooh. Come back. Stop. <laughs> Do I just click it? Let's go down. Oh, what the heck? Why was it all the way? Okay, sorry. Okay. Yes, Start charge. <laughs> okay, now we can go plug it. Let's go, it's cold. All right, so this is the one. So you can say it says, uh, please plug in. So I activated the right one. I pulled up to the right one. Open this guy. Set him up on his cap. Oh my God, it's so cold out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bend this in with one hand. So, <laughs> okay, just wait. I'm gonna stop it and uh, plug this in. All right, so I just clicked it in. Um, we're gonna wait and see as it does its thing. I don't think the cooling cable or the cooling will need to be activated. So it's pretty cold out here. Oh. Anyway, okay, initiating charging. Like I said, we are at 4% on the uh, left on the car. We will see once it gets going here, what our speeds are as it charges. It's been charged many times tonight. Um, battery should be perfectly warm. So hopefully we don't get that glitch where it's been stopping at 35 kilowatts. <sighs> Cause that means I'll have to change chargers again. Um, so we see here, starting to ramp up and we've passed that 35 mark, which is glorious. Still kind of climbing here, which is awesome. So it looks like we're gonna kind of stay around 81 kilowatts. Maybe go up a little bit. I don't know how long we're charging for, but I'm gonna go back in the car because it's a little cold. But yeah, we'll keep you updated on uh, when we leave here and I'm sure Ari will wanna say something too. So we'll see, hopefully that thing jumps up a little bit so we're not here that long. But I uh, was released from jury duty at 5 p.m. Central time on January 26th. It is now 5.30 a.m. Uh, are we in the Eastern time zone? Eastern time zone. January 27th. What's our speed? It's at 83, 84. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. We got our cool light bar here telling us how low it was. But yeah. Anyway, it's been a long day. I'm glad you let me the drive day, it. The day's just getting started. The day's just getting started. I don't know, my coffee's already cold, so. Well, whose fault is that? <laughs> All right, and, uh, oh, arrive VB to it. He's checking an unplugged shirt, looks oh, like. Oh, yes. I already checked in. Oh, thank you. Is that why you asked my speed? Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Puppies are anxious. They're probably ready for breakfast soon. Anyway, peace. We have just finished charging. I'm now awake. Uh, gonna take over driving here for the last hour um, that we're in the car. So we uh, just charged up to 60%, uh, which is gonna give us about 102 miles of range. Um, we There are plenty of city charging options in Columbus. There's, um, and, and we only have 62 miles to go. So we'll have 40 mile buffer. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, get out of here. Uh, just wanted to show you, yeah, really quick. We were just sitting here for 29 minutes, uh, charged from what well, we were at 4%, right? 4% to 60% in 29 minutes, not terrible. A um, little bit slower because of the cold weather again, but I think I saw the charging hit about 110 kilowatts, so not terrible. Um, but we will go ahead and uh, get on over to Columbus. So we arrived in Columbus uh, at uh, 7 a.m. this morning. Uh, it is now 2.36 Eastern time. Uh, we were too tired to film a video. We just wanted to get settled into our Airbnb and go to bed because we had a very, very long day of overnight driving. Um, so we arrived with 22% state of charge uh, with about 51 miles on the gasometer. So we had uh, that buffer worked out pretty well for us. I think we only had a 30 mile buffer, but now it's showing 51. I think it's because look at that temperature. It has warmed up quite a bit here, ladies and gents. It is now 32 degrees. That is about three times what the temperature was when we arrived here last night. I think when I got we got here, it was showing 30 miles, and Volkswagen must have automatically adjusted to the warmer temperatures. That'll be great for the soccer game today. Uh, really looking forward to that. Um, so now we're on our way to just get some breakfast with Max. are 
are here the morning of January 29th. We are just getting ready to leave our Airbnb. Puppies are all packed up back there. The cleaners just showed up. The so. sun is out today. Yes, which is look at this gorgeous great. sun. And it's warmed up quite a bit. The car claims it's 33, but I actually don't know if that's correct. Uh, we, we still are under a wind chill advisory, and I think we're in the single digits, but maybe the black car is uh, detecting a higher temperature than there actually is. Um, we could probably confirm that if we go back to, let me pick up, yeah, it says 15. So I think the car is way off there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, we are on our way now to uh, our first charging stop. We were able to charge at various places in Columbus um, along the way. So we have 99 miles of guesstimated range and we're at 54% uh, as of when I started the car, but that might've dropped since the climate control has been on. Um, 52 now. So I did eat up a couple percent there getting the car warmed up. Um, but yeah, so 50, uh, 62 miles, um, to the charger, 99 miles um, of guesstimated range. So we should be able to get there and we bypassed the Electrify America in Columbus then. So uh, we'll probably stop uh, Huber Heights. I think we'll have to stop at Indy again based on how on the way here went. Um, we'll probably stop at the Electrify America there instead of that BP just because it's a little bit faster. And uh, Teddy, it's okay, bud. It's okay. He's, uh, he's ready to go home. But anyway, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll document the journey back. Um, it should be, it's, it's gonna be a little bit colder, I think, than when mm -hmm. we left, uh, but at least the sun's out. So yes. that means maybe the, the black car, maybe it absorbs more, more we'll warmth. See. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, hopefully we are able to get our range up a little bit uh, on this way back, but who knows? Stay tuned. We've arrived at the Electrify America charging station at, uh, Huber Heights, Ohio at the Walmart here. Uh, we have 24 miles of guesstimated range, so it was pretty close to what we had. I think we had about a 30 mile buffer and it ended up being pretty close to that. Um, currently at, let's see what state of charge we're at. We're at 13% state of charge. Um, so we'll get ahead and charge up here and uh, get us enough to get to Indy, which I believe is another maybe 100 or so miles. So we're gonna run into Walmart, leave the climate control on the car uh, for the dogs, and we will go from there. We're at 80% state of charge now uh, with 139 miles on the gasometer. Uh, if we go take a look at our Electrify America app, we were here for 45 minutes to go from when we plugged in, oh goodness, were we at 17%? Something around there. Uh, you guys just saw it, so you, you should be able to tell. Um, but yeah, it's, ultimately charging time is gonna be a lot longer. We did go into Walmart and you know made good use of our time. Um, but yeah, so we will, go ahead and uh, make our way to the Electrify America in Indianapolis, uh, Indiana now. Uh, and then we'll plan on stopping in Lafayette, one more stop in Chicago, and then we'll be home sweet home. We've arrived at the Electrify America charging station in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, we have 18 miles remaining on the gasometer, and we are at, I believe it was 9%, yep, 9% state of charge. So we ate up about 71%. Uh, just taking a look at stats since we left the Huber Heights location, which is a little over 100 miles away. Uh, we've been averaging 2.1 miles a kilowatt, so we're up to that tenth of a, tenth of a mile per kilowatt hour, excuse me, per kilowatt hour, um, in that 114 miles that we drove since that last charge. So uh, not too bad overall for the trip. Uh, this is about where we're at. Uh, we've been averaging just about two miles per kilowatt hour. Um, so yeah, we will go ahead and, uh, and get charging here. Uh, another one of our stops. Caitlin, how's the trip going for you? The sun keeps coming in and out, but when it does come out, it's nice and warm. So that's good. I agree. I noticed that the, uh, when the sun is out, the roof creaks less when it's this cold. It's actually still pretty warm. The car says it's 28. What was Google saying? Uh, Google said it's like 25. So yeah, it's warming up a little bit as we're going um, today, which is nice because I think, uh, I mean, it's been cold here the past few days. So Yeah, and we also know that we're going to be driving through snow pretty soon. Not snow falling, but like Chicago got a couple of inches yesterday. They got like six inches of lake effect snow. Yeah. I think like Gary, Indiana into Chicago. Um, so we're going to be driving through that. that. It'll be plowed by now, so yeah, I'm not that worried. No, but, but it's um, going to get cold. That's what I'm trying to say. Our temperature is going to we'll be see. fluctuating. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we get us plugged in here and we'll uh, monitor. We should have a pretty warm battery, so we should be close to peak charging speeds. Great start to the charging session here. We're at uh, 113, 112 uh, kilowatt charging speeds right now at 9% state of charge. That's about, I think that's the best we've gotten on this trip. I think we've hit 100, but we've not gotten above 100. So this we is great news. We at one. Uh, we, oh yeah, we were close. Maybe, was that on the way here? I think yeah. that was on the way here. So. 
uh, good deal. So we'll let it sit here, you know, run into Walmart real quick and uh, we'll be back. Just finished up charging at what was our uh, best charging session so far, actually. Um, we were at peaking at about 121 kilowatts uh, of charging speed. So uh, we were pretty near the peak uh, already. So Caitlin's going to take over driving now. Uh, we are currently at 65% state of charge. Um, and yeah, we, we rock and rolled um, through this tr charger here. So 26 minutes and we pumped um, pumped ourselves uh, 44 kilowatt hours. So that's pretty good. Uh, max charging speed is not 175. That's a glitch with Electrify America. Um, in reality, it, uh, that, that's a glitch that's shown up quite a bit. Um, but in reality, I've only observed um, 121 kilowatts of uh, charging speed. But not too bad to go from 9 to 65% um, in that time period. So we're on our way now to the Lafayette, Indiana charger. Uh, we're rolling to charge for a little bit um, just to be able to reach Chicago. Um, we actually charged more than what we needed to do, which was kind of nice because then we'll have to stop less in Lafayette. Um, yeah, we're making good time so far. So it's currently 3.30, uh, 34 degrees outside according to the car. However, Google's telling 26, so it's probably somewhere in between there. Um, and yeah, we'll be on our way and we're making good time. Caitlin, are you excited to drive? Yes. Last time I drove this, obviously it was night and dark, so it'll be fun when it's a... There's a skeleton on that car. Which one? <laughs> oh, yeah. This Saturn right here has got a little, a little skeleton up there. Anyway, yeah. I also see a Chevy, to, uh... Chevy Volt, but yes, back to Caitlin. <laughs> I'm excited to drive it during the day. So yeah, should be good. Sweet. See you in Lafayette. We're back at it. You want to do the explaining this time? Sure. All right, hey guys. So we've been sitting here at Lafayette, Indiana charging and we just charged up to 80% now. We have 144 miles on the gesso meter over here. Um, and if I show you our next location, we'll be going to Hodgkins, Illinois. Um, so it's 128 miles. We have just over, just under 20 miles buffer. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this stretch, so my, uh, Driving tendencies seem to be more efficient than a rise. Yeah, let's so take a look at that. <laughs> so we should be able to get there. Let's see. With plenty buffer. Caitlin's actually been rocking the efficiency. Yeah, I don't know how yeah. she's doing it because, you know, we maybe I cruised just a couple miles over her, but I mean, maybe that makes a difference. But granted, we're looking at a sample size of 71 miles, uh, <laughs> but when she's averaging 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour. In September, October-ish, we averaged about three miles per kilowatt hour. So that's not too much of a loss. Uh, so, I mean, still at our 80%, it's guesstimating 143 miles. That part's not great because normally I'd get about 200. Uh, oh, what were we gonna say, Caitlin? It went down one mile. Um, I will say the driving that I was doing through Indiana, especially on the way here, was a lot of construction and a lot of work zones. So Slow speed limits. Yep. So we we were you know going maybe like 60, 65 miles an hour uh, depending on the work zone. So a um, little bit little bit slower than going seventy or seventy five. But um, but yeah. So we'll we'll see how our efficiency goes while we go. You know we're gonna be going fast now until we get to you know Chicagoland area where it'll probably slow down a little bit more. But um, then we'll get to that target that we stopped on the way down here in Hodgkins. That was our first stop, um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, anything else to add, Caitlin? Uh, no, I think I'm ready to go. Sounds good. Yes, we uh, hopefully, I don't think we're going to make, we're definitely not going to make it home before the sun sets, mm -hmm. but uh, we're going to gain an hour, which is nice. So right now it's uh, 521 Eastern time um, and 26 degrees Fahrenheit out here in Lafayette. So what does Google say? Uh, I think Google said something similar. Here, let's go out of here. Google's showing 25, so yeah, the car actually has a temperature right this time. Um, probably because the sun's not directly over it, but. Yeah. Um, so yes, we will, we will get going here. I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug us, um, and then we will be on our way. So we're in between Lafayette and Chicagoland right now. Uh, we're going through, uh, in Indiana, they have a huge wind farm uh, over here, which I think is just awesome. I mean, this is the future, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if we can get more of these up, you know, nationwide, um, get some solar power while we're at it. Uh, we are going to be set and EVs will be powered for years to come. Uh, it is very cool, especially, you know, we always seem to go by these during the sunset. You can see them behind Caitlin over here. Um, some of these windmills past these trees, but it, it's super cool. Uh, we love some good renewable energy. Obviously, if you have an EV, you partially, you, I mean, you don't, you're not using as many fossil fuels and that's better for our planet and 
I mean, this goes for miles. It's unbelievable. I mean, if you haven't been, if you haven't been through one of these wind farms, it's the coolest thing um, to just watch because it's generating a lot of power. I don't know much about this one in terms of how much power it generates um, or where the power goes, but I would imagine it stays in Indiana because um, I'm assuming they're funding it unless it's a federal project or something. I'd have to look it up. Uh, one of you guys know, uh, if one of you guys know um, what this powers, leave it in the comments below. Yes. Yeah, we got some uh, some of the bigger ones here, or some they're all the same size, I think. But uh, yeah. actually, there are there are some smaller ones, I think, scattered. But um, you see some that are really close to the highway here, so you can just see how uh, they're just so cool. Like, and like you can see how they're lined up. Yes. So they're like in a line. Yep. First time we saw these, it was during a sunset which is really cool. I think we got pictures in our first road trip video that we posted. Uh, we saw these obviously when we came down Wednesday, the 26th, I believe it was of January. Um, but that we came through here very early in the morning. And so it was very dark, but you could see all of the red blinking lights on them. Uh, so that was really cool. But I don't think we've seen them this bright before. I think once we came when it was like a sunset. Yeah. But. Yeah, they're, it's just really cool. I mean, there's just so many possibilities for the future. I mean, they're even starting to put like solar panels on cars. Um, wind turbines, they're, I think they're more costly, but if we can like build them and, God, I'm not an expert on renewable energy. I'm not gonna pretend to be, but all I know is that that's the way we <laughs> are, uh, we don't contribute to global warming and you know we're able to live healthy, happy lives. You know, believe what you want, uh, but I trust the science on that one, so. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're on our way to Chicago. We'll meet you there. Hey guys, Caitlin just ran into the restroom at uh, the Target over here in uh, Hodgkins, Illinois. We're currently plugged in, charging um, at a pretty decent rate here. Uh, we plugged in with 12%, uh, we're now at 59%. Uh, We've got a little bit slower charging speeds here. Um, don't ignore the current charge speed again, showing 175. We're, we've been hovering around 80, I think, the whole curve. Um, so like I said, we plugged in at 12%, we're now at 59%, uh, or actually the car shows 60, the Electrify America app is, usually shows 1% less when charging. Um, on the ID4 at least. We've been charging for 27 minutes, so it's a little bit of a slower charge here. Um, probably due to, um, it, again, it cooling off a little bit out here. So um, it's 21 degrees, 648 central time now, so we've crossed uh, cross time zone. So look at that, now, now it's up to us. So now we're getting, uh, you can see we're getting the 60, 69 kilowatts um, of charging speed. So yeah, uh, we are we're definitely tired. Um, we're about an hour and a half from home, 100 miles, so shouldn't be too bad. Um, we're gonna just charge 80%, then we'll have a little bit of buffer to get back. Um, since right now we could technically make it home, but I don't feel comfortable leaving about you know 118 miles of range. Um, we arrived with 12% state of charge, like I said, with about a 30 mile buffer. Um, Caitlin did a really good job driving efficiently, so um, yeah, I don't know. I think she just has a softer foot than me. I think when I try to go past somebody, I, I'm using too much uh, too much juice by uh, pushing down on the pedal. That's my theory, at least. Um, but yeah, here she comes now um, from Target, and then uh, we will see you guys uh, once we're done charging here. We finished charging up to 80% here with 151 miles on the Yesometer. We are ready to rock and roll. Um, we will let you guys know, you know, what we uh, end up with when we return. We got another 100 miles uh, with a little bit of a, another 100 miles in our trip with a 50 mile buffer. Um, so I'm not worried at all. We'll be totally fine getting home. Hey guys, we made it back to Milwaukee with 27% uh, state of charge and approximately 63 miles in the guessometer. So, I mean, the ID4 did a fantastic job guessing the mileage, you know, once we got going and um, going at highway miles. Uh, I would definitely charge as much as you can at the beginning of your road trip, especially if conditions have changed since the last time you drove the car um, or if you, uh, you know, normally drive around city streets and you're taking out the interstate, you're going to have a huge difference in terms of range and everything with that. So that's definitely something I'd recommend. Um, do you guys have any questions, please let me know. Coming soon, I'm hoping to have a video up, um, you know, showing the comparison between like a gas and EV uh, car, depending on whether you're charging at home, whether you're at Electrify America, like DC fast chargers, we're gonna compare all of that. So um, there's something I'm gonna be working on for you. Um, so if you have any questions or things you want me to include in that video or another video, let me know. Uh, and please subscribe, comment, rate. Caitlin, anything to add? Um. I would say, so overall this road trip, pretty smooth sailing. Our last stretch here, we did have a, a lot of problems with the infotainment center. So we're really hoping that that is updated soon. 
but besides that, overall it was good. Uh, puppies did great, which was awesome. And yeah, it was a yeah. good time. Software can be buggy, but ultimately that's all stuff that can be fixed. Uh, yeah, we had the infotainment system freeze or uh, not play out of all the speakers a couple times. But um, if you guys aren't aware of this method already, maybe this will help. Uh, if you ever have issues like with the infotainment here, you press and hold this power button. Uh, it's like a haptic, not even a haptic, it's like just a touch power button. You would press and hold that for about 10 to 20 seconds. Um, and that will trigger a restart. So the screen will go black and then you'll see a welcome to Volkswagen screen. You can even do that while you're driving. Uh, it's not gonna affect your, um, not gonna affect the driving capability of the car. We had to do that like three times, I think, while we were driving, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if it's just a matter of, uh, because this is probably an Android-based system, just did having a, a high uptime, it needs a little, you know, refresh to, you know, clear caches and stuff like that, but, um, but yeah, so. Our dogs did great, they love the back. They have plenty of room back there, along with all our luggage and everything. But um, thank you guys again for watching, uh, and please stay tuned for more videos.